Hi, I'm Brenda Delpy, Principal Technical Marketing Engineer here at Cribble. And today we're going to be walking through setting up the Prometheus Scraper source on Cribble Edge deployed in Kubernetes and getting the node exporter dashboard set up in Grafana. So this is the dashboard that I want to use here. You can see it's pre-built. It's got quite a bit of useful information that can be displayed in Grafana. So I've set up a simple Kubernetes environment running locally on my uh, MacBook here. And I've got a fleet of three edge nodes deployed. So we've got these on different Kubernetes hosts. And I also have a Grafana instance set up with a Prometheus data source already configured. Nothing in the Prometheus data source right now. So let's get the dashboard installed first, and then we can start getting the data in from Cribble Edge to Prometheus. So I'm gonna copy the ID of this dashboard. We're gonna go import this here in our Grafana instance, load this. We'll choose our Prometheus instance, and you can see there's no data right now. I'm gonna set this to last five minutes, and we'll go ahead and set this to auto reload every five seconds. Now what we need to do is go over to Cribble Edge. I'm going to collect data. You can see we have the default configuration here. So let's start with adding a new Prometheus destination. We'll set this up here, call it Prometheus. And we put in the remote right URL. Now your URL, the domain name, and host name of your Prometheus server may vary. This is what it's configured using the default Helm chart and a namespace of Prometheus in my local Kubernetes environment. So now we've got that set up, we'll save that. Let's add a new edge scraper source. I already have node exporter installed on all of my nodes. So we're gonna choose the Kubernetes node discovery type. We're going to use the HTTP protocol. The default port is 9100 for the node exporter. We're going to choose the metrics path, leave everything else in the default. I'm going to add a field in here called job, and we'll call it node exporter. So now that we have this set up, let's connect these two. I'm going to connect this to Prometheus. We're going to choose a pipeline. In this case, I'm going to choose the Prometheus metrics pipeline. I'm going to make some modifications to my pipeline here. The first is I'm going to choose to change the job. And in this case here, we've already populated a job name. So we can use some JavaScript magic to say if the job field is already set, use that. Otherwise, fall back and use the default value here. I'm going to change this to Cribble. And then for our instance, we want this to match the host name of the Kubernetes node. Now that's published as metadata. We'll see this in just a second here, but I'm going to go ahead and populate this. Metadata.cube.node, metadata.name, and same fallback logic here. All right, everything looks good. We're going to save this pipeline, close it, attach it to our Quick Connect, and here we go. One more adjustment we need to make is to go change the fleet settings here to 0, .0, 0.0.0.0 for the API host. Otherwise, the health checks will start failing in Kubernetes. So let's do that. We'll commit and deploy this change here. And we'll go over to our node exporter dashboard and let this reload. And if everything looks good, we should have metrics coming in in just a second here. There we go. We can start to see metrics are now populating in this dashboard here. So now that we've configured our Prometheus scraper source to forward to the Prometheus remote write destination, let's take a quick second to review the contents of the metrics in the source. So you can see I've opened our capture to show live data. In this case, these are metrics being scraped from the node exporter endpoints. And you can see a few on the screen here. In another second, it will generate some more. We can scroll through this list and look. Now I want to take a look at the internal fields. So we'll enable this toggle, show internal fields. And let's look at the double underscore metadata field. This is generated for events in Cribble. 
and I can see I have some special information about Kubernetes, in this case, node and pod information. And I have a field here for the node with a name, kind control plane. This is the node, the Cribble Edge instance is running on. And if you recall from earlier, this was the field that we added into the pipeline to generate the instance name. That's it. Thanks for watching. Thank <music> you.